Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Tanise Movie. If you're new here, welcome. But if you're an only the goodie, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I transformed my 93-year-old kitchen and bathroom from this to this. So stay tuned if you're interested to see how we did it on a budget. Hey everyone, oh my gosh, I am so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Guess why I'm excited? I'm gonna show you. We have countertops. Let me, let me, let me, let me turn this around. Let's rewind. And pause. So I wanted to include this clip because I couldn't find a video or a picture of what the floor looked like before we ripped up the thing that was on it. So that's how it looks after we ripped up the thing. But in this next clip, you're gonna see what was on it. I think that material is called linoleum or something like that. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to pause it for you guys to see that that was covering the entire floor and we ripped it up. And then everything, all the walls are covered in this wallpaper. And then there's that cabinet thing on the wall. I'm just walking around to show the appliances that were in there. So nothing was, it wasn't really, I wouldn't call this a kitchen. Because all they had was like the wardrobe thing right here. Um, the stove, the fridge, and then the sink over there. Like key to saving money while renovating is to do most of the work yourself <laughs> so that's pretty much what we did um the first thing that we decided to do was actually work on the floors so here we have a friend he's placing down i think he called it cement board so he's placing the cement board down on the floor um before the guy comes to tile we got the cement board from home depot i believe and i don't think it was too expensive at this point we are about to start tiling and so we got all of the appliances out of the kitchen, the stove, the fridge, and um, that cabinet thing that was on the wall. We demolished ourselves and placed it outside on garbage day for the stove and the fridge. And I think the washer and dryer, we didn't throw those out. We called this place that collected like used appliances and they came and picked them up. And I th I'm actually mistaken guys. So the washer and dryer that they left in the basement we those were the appliances that were picked up and we only got like 50 dollars for them but i mean they were old so it's still money and the stove and the refrigerator that we took out of the kitchen they're still in the garage and that's 50 each for the washer and dryer now we're doing the tiling working with our budget we enlisted the help of another friend to actually come and do the tiling because that's what he used to do and honestly <laughs> the tiles stayed halfway done for a long time i mean honestly he had good reason because he does have his own business place and so that takes up like a lot of his time but eventually he came he cleared up some time and he came and he finished it and we were super excited they were done so neat and everything was really really nice so this is it almost done At the end, he was just strategically placing the tiles down so that he's not walking over the ones that were not yet dry before he finished it. So this is it pretty much all done. Yay, we did it. Flooring is complete. Well, tiling is complete. Awesome. So that's him putting the grout and we're done.
Next up, we changed the door and I just reinserted this picture here so you guys could see what the door was looking like before. And here it is, same friend, changing the door to what it is now. Oh, and look, yeah, so we ripped down all the wallpapers, they're gone. So that's how the wall looks behind them. And now it's time for the cabinets. You're gonna see the guys assembling the cabinets and they charged like $350 to assemble all of them. So not bad. And honestly guys, one thing I will say is when you're trying to choose cabinets, shop around, shop around. Go to as many different places as you can to get the best price because throughout this entire process, the most expensive part was the cabinets. Some places were telling us it was $10,000 for the cabinets, right? Not for the cabinets and the countertop, you know, just the cabinets, $10,000. Another place said $14,000. One more place said $13,000. So by this time, I was legit saying, okay, I'm gonna have to like sell a kidney, half of a lung, piece of my liver um, to get these cabinets. So we had to take that estimate and go somewhere else. Lowe's, they do the estimates for free. So what we did was we took the free estimate that we got from Lowe's that listed all the cabinets we would need for our dream kitchen. And then we went somewhere that was super cheap, way cheaper than what they were telling us to get our cabinets. And it was way better material as well from that place. Those 3D images were part of the estimate that we got from Lowe's. So here, the cabinets are going up. The guy is attaching them to the wall and he put that, I don't know what it's called, board thing on the wall for the cabinets to go on, as you see right there. And so yeah, they're just putting the cabinets up. So I'm looking at the dates of everything and the cabinets were put up um, July of last year, 2022. And the countertops were paid for in September of 2022 but we just got them so we were literally using the boxes that the cabinets came in as countertops for the entire time hey everyone oh my gosh i am so excited guys i'm so excited guess why i'm excited i'm gonna show you we have countertops let me let me let me let me turn this around we legit have countertops now don't mind the backsplash that still needs to be done but i'm going to insert and the microwave is going to be um placed on top of the stove um so we're gonna mount that soon ah they're just now coming in they came in two days ago and i'm super excited they came in on wednesday which was January the 11th. And so I'm super, super, super excited. Like, don't mind the dirty dishes. I'm gonna do the dishes soon. But I just had to show you guys the countertops. So this is how the kitchen is looking now. It is a work in progress. It is not yet complete. There's still a lot of work to be done. If you guys watched my previous video where I was cleaning, you guys will notice I recorded that video on Sunday. We have since added something to the kitchen. So I hope you guys are paying attention. If you figure out what was added from that video till now, then comment down below and I'll give you guys a shout out to whoever gets it. Bathroom time. So this is how the bathroom looked. Do you guys see that wallpaper? Can you see the wallpaper? Oh my gosh, it was the first thing that had to go, the wallpaper. When we took the wallpapers off, we were actually surprised that the walls were in pretty good shape because at first we were wondering if they used the wallpapers because they wanted to cover the walls because of how bad they were, but they were in such good shape. They were in pretty good shape, decent, decent shape. So here we removed the toilet and the 
previous sink and we replaced it with a new toilet and a pedestal sink. We also painted the walls white to get rid of that green like blotchiness that was going on. So funny story, the bathtub was actually done twice. Here's one. So we obviously the house is old and stuff so we didn't everybody wants to take a bath now and then so we didn't want to like use the old bathtub so what we did was we decided to refinish it ourselves from the month everything now and project so we got the um i think it's called epoxy and we refinished the bathtub it looks great look amazing you're gonna see coming up in future clips we removed the tub surround, we got a new tub surround, we um, refinished the bathtub which you're seeing right now, it looks amazing. We then did the mirror, if you go to the previous clip you'll see how the mirror looked, we removed that one and then we put up a mirror that we liked, which is this round one right here. and. This is all us, literally. We redid the floor, and by redid, we just bought some tiles, super cheap. I think we got them in Walmart. They're like tiles that you clip into each other. Um, yeah, and then we just like cut them to the size that we want, and then we fitted them on the tiles in the bathroom. So we did really, really well, but, but fast forward a couple months after that, it started to like peel and it looked really bad. And everyone that we asked, like the pricing of removing it, they told us it was so much money. So we were just like stuck with it for a while. But then shop around, guys. One of our other friends, <laughs> they knew some people who knew some people who knew some more people. And we got a good price for them to redo it. And so we did that. And that is the new tub that we have now. So this is the bathtub that we have now, guys. The kitchen and the bathroom, they're a work in progress. It's not completed. I mean, the entire house is a work in progress because it's an older house. And so we're just doing everything that we can, little by little, day by day, because it takes lots and lots of money. And we're not millionaires yet, so. You know, we just gotta take our time and do what we gotta do ourselves. And eventually, it will all come together. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come on here and close up the vlog. I know I look a hot mess, I do apologize. I'm not gonna keep coming on here looking like a hot mess, I promise. <laughs> but um, guys, I'm actually so sick right now. I don't know what happened, like I woke up this morning and I was so sick. I don't feel too bad now um so yeah i just want to come on here to close out the vlog or not a vlog to close out the video i just wanted to come on here to close out the video i want you guys to comment down below house renovation if you got this far in the video and also i want you guys to look at my previous video and look at this one and tell me what you noticed that is different about the kitchen we definitely added something else um, we keep doing that day by day. We do something different. Add a little something here, a little something there. Whatever we can do ourselves, we're gonna do um, to save money. So, yeah, comment down below. And whoever gets the answer correct, then I will give you guys a shout out in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that every time I post a video, you guys are alerted. Also, my next video is going to be a story time about when I almost drowned. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in hearing that story, then stay tuned for my next video that will be posted on Friday. See you guys soon and thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you to my new subscribers and to my oldies but goodies. Thank you guys for the continued support. I really, really do appreciate you and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh.